It's Cajun Quickie Time. Quickies. <laughs> trademark food, I think you. <laughs> it is. Hashtag. Okay. No, no trademark. Okay, go on. I mean, sure, you can hashtag and trademark. That's why. Yeah, you can do both. <laughs> okay, so today's Kitchen Quickie is kind of a Cuban staple that I don't know if we've alluded to it before, but I think we may have. And it's just, it's called picadillo. Right. Which is ground beef, kind of like, imagine a sloppy joe, but not a sloppy joe meat. Right. Yeah. Right. It's just ground beef. How do you do yours? Okay, so there's two types of ways to do picadillo. People like to do it like kind of saucy or they like to do a little bit dry. I like to do mine kind of dry. I don't mm-hmm. like the sauce with it. So what I do is I take the ground meat and I'll tell you, it does work really well with ground chicken. Yeah. I'll let you know. My picadillo is really simple. I just take the ground meat and I just take salt, pepper, garlic. I like a lot of garlic on it. Me too. And... I also use a, a seasoning sazón completa in there. So I don't really know how to describe sazón completa because that's sazón what I put. Sazón completo. Com- yeah. Whatever, Mariela. It's like a Nor or what is that brand that makes it? Badia. Badia. Yeah, you can buy the packets, but you don't need to. But go ahead. No, you really don't need to. So the thing about picadillo is like it's basically just throwing in whatever spices you like. I do like to put chopped tomatoes in there. I like to put chopped onions in there. And just such enough to put a little bit of cumin in there. Mm-hmm. Delicious. And so you essentially spice it up the way you like. I like to leave it dry. Some people add a tomato sauce to it. I don't. I do. So I like to leave it dry. And then, Mariela, that's it. That's it? And then serve it up with rice or beans or whatever you want to serve it up with. This is how I make mine. I get half an onion, four cloves of garlic, and I saute it. Then I add, I would say, maybe half a cup of tomato sauce and make a sofrito. Then I add mm-hmm. the meat, I cook it down. Sometimes I add a nice glug of wine or vino seco or what's that stuff called? Stock. I like it a little mm-hmm. saucier. Yeah. And then you just let it cook down. Then I'll take my jar of olives and I'll put a little bit of... The- oh, you yes. forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot the olives and, the, uh, and a little bit of the olive juice too. Yes, you have to put a little bit of olive juice, maybe like, I don't know, half a tablespoon. Yeah, like I was going to say a teaspoon maybe, like not a lot. Not a lot. And then I put my olives in there, too. And then you cook it down for like 10 minutes until it all becomes this like homogenous deliciousness. And then you just serve it over rice and dinner's ready literally in less yeah. than 30 minutes. The picadillo takes like like 10 minutes. It's the easiest thing. My mom says that, that this is comida de jinetera, which means like a hooker meal because it's done fast. They don't have a lot of time to cook. <laughs> They're busy. <laughs> I've never heard that one. <laughs> yeah. So... Anyway, give this a shot. It is super delicious. And if you like don't want rice, you can maybe put it over like a baked potato or something. I don't know. You yeah, can do a bunch like of things with it. So enjoy this kitchen quickie and it's a little piece of home. Take care, you guys. Bye bye. <laughs>